Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all keeping well and safe. I wanted to bring this video up showing you guys my top five breakfast ideas. I don't always have a lot of time in the morning and I know a lot of you guys are new into healthy eating and having a busy morning schedule. So I wanted to show you guys my top five breakfast ideas that I've been loving lately. They are quick, easy and very tasty at the same time. Without any further ado, let's dive into the video. For my very first quick and healthy breakfast, I wanted to show you guys how to make hemp almond pancakes. So before I start off, I always make sure I soak my fruits in salt water. If you don't, I think you should be. You just plonk them into water mixed with salt to get rid of dirt and to remove most of the contact pesticide residues that normally appear on produce. And to make the pancakes, I'm adding about three heaping tablespoons of rolled oats. You can increase the quantity depending on the serving. And then I'm adding about two tablespoons of almond flour. You can add any flour of preference. I'm adding about half a tablespoon of chia seeds and half tablespoon of hemp hearts. These are called as superfoods, very high in vitamins and minerals and it's nutrient dense. That is so good for your body. Adding in one egg and one full cup of any milk of preference. I'm adding unsweetened almond milk. I'm going to whisk all the ingredients up together and I'm going to let the batter stand for two to three minutes undisturbed and it will thicken during this time. And once the batter is ready in a greased pan, add about three to four tablespoons of the batter and cook on low for three to four minutes or till golden and flip and repeat. So that's the finished product. I like to have my pancakes with a huge dollop of butter. That's how I like it. But if you like sweet things, you can add honey or maple syrup to sweeten it up. But these pancakes pack a hefty nutritional punch in addition to being so scrumptious. And it's also very simple to make. I hope you guys try it. So for the second quick and healthy breakfast idea I wanted to show you guys is the Nature's Cereal Bowl. So this one is very simple, you guys. I had to think twice before I filmed it because it's so easy, no fancy process, no cooking involved. Um, but it is so delicious and I always have this, especially on very, very busy days. So in a bowl, I'm cutting up any fruit of preference. I'm using mangoes and blueberries, fresh ones. And then I'm adding a generous serving of pumpkin seeds. You can use any seeds or nuts of preference. You can even add granola, it tastes so good. And then I'm adding in a cup of plant-based milk. You can add any milk of preference. And that's pretty much it. That's my nature's cereal bowl. Very simple, quick, but very, very satisfying and filling on busy days. And I also have this as a snack throughout the day if I'm hungry. So yeah, I hope you guys try this out. And hands down, this got to be my current favorite thing to have for breakfast. It's the overnight blueberry oatmeal and chia seed pudding. So this got to be meal prepped the previous night. So I'm going to show you guys how I make it. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using for my overnight chia seed and oatmeal pudding. You can cater this to your own style. You can opt out or opt in any ingredients that you want to. In a tall glass jar, I'm adding one cup of rolled oats, two cups of plant-based milk, and two heaping tablespoons of chia seeds. So this is what's gonna give that pudding-like consistency. So feel free to use how much ever you want to. I'm using two tablespoons. And to sweeten it up, you can add one tablespoon of honey, maple syrup, or even vanilla extract. But I am good with just fruit, so I don't add any extra sweetener to it. Mixing it all up together. And then adding in one cup of frozen organic blueberries. You're going to cover the glass or the jar and you're going to let this sit overnight or for a few hours in the refrigerator. So the next morning your breakfast will already be prepped. You can see the mixture has thickened a lot. That's because of the chia seeds. It gives a nice pudding-like consistency. 
You can just eat this with a spoon straight out of the jar or you can mix it in a separate bowl topped with fresh fruits, nuts and seeds. And there you go, a very easy and quick nutritious meal idea that you can meal prep the previous day. It is balanced with good protein, healthy fats and whole carbs and it will give you sustained energy for the entire morning. So for the next one, I've got you a savory breakfast idea. Some days I wake up and I want something savory and lately I've been loving this one. It's an open sandwich with mashed avocado and eggs. To make the scramble, I've taken one egg, adding in salt and crushed black pepper, adding in a sprinkle of dried chives and garlic powder. So this is something that's really going to enhance the flavor. I've been lately loving garlic powder and chives to my scramble. And I'm going to whisk all this up together. So the level of healthiness of this breakfast will depend on the quality of bread that you get. I always try to get the one that's 100% whole grain, less processed and more fiber. So always try to gravitate towards whole grain bread. So I've toasted my bread and to one slice I've added the scrambled egg which I just cooked and to the other slice I'm just mashing up half an avocado, adding in a pinch of salt and crushed black pepper pumpkin seeds for crunch and then a good drizzle of sriracha or any hot sauce of preference. So that's my savory breakfast that I have on long busy mornings. It's packed with full of proteins, good carbs and healthy fats. That's going to keep me full, especially on filming days. I get so hungry quickly, but this satisfies me so well. Also, we're sneaking in veggies here, so it's the best start for the day. And last but not the least, what's a quick breakfast idea without an oatmeal porridge? I'm going to show you guys how I make my classic oat bowl. I'm using rolled oats for this recipe, but you can use any oats of preference. You can use steel cut oats, or if you're in a rush, you can even use quick oats. But always make sure you get the unsweetened variety. In that way, we don't ingest additional sugar. To a bowl, I'm adding one cup of rolled oats. I'm using water to cook my oats, but you can use any milk of preference if you like your oats to be creamy and full. I'm going to cook this for about 5 to 8 minutes. And once my oats is cooked, I'm adding in one heaping tablespoon of any yogurt. I'm using coconut vegan yogurt. And adding in a serving of fruit for more fiber, vitamins and minerals. And last but not the least, I'm adding in my favorite organic smooth peanut butter, a huge dollop of it on my oatmeal that's going to give all the healthy fats that's needed for my day. And that's my classic oatmeal bowl that I pretty much gravitate to every single day. You can cater this to your own style and liking. You can add cinnamon for flavor, vanilla extract, coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey, any nuts, seeds and fruits of preference and everything tastes so good with this. And it is one bowl packed with so much goodness and nutrients that you need for your body. And you get all of this in the beginning of the day. And I really hope you got something from this video. Do try these recipes out. I'm sure you would love it. And always, always remember to fuel your body right with good, nutritious and wholesome food that's going to keep you going. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do drop in your video suggestions in the comment box below. I would love to create it for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, stay fit, healthy and happy.